We are sort of celebrating our 15th anniversary of the stormwater inspection and maintenance program we have for stormwater control measures. And it's the first certification program of its kind in America. Sort of a classic extension story, I had uh, a bunch of my clients, communities across North Carolina, that stormwater practices had been in the ground for roughly a decade, and they were seeing five years to a decade, and they were seeing problems with how well they were working, and there wasn't a good workforce out there to maintain these things. I'm Bill Lord. I'm a, an extension associate with biological engineering. I actually retired from cooperative extension with 42 years of service. We started this program because we were seeing a lot of stormwater control measures being installed and they weren't being maintained. Seeing a failure rate in the upper 90 percentile and we realized that something had to give and we thought you know we could give a knowledge-based training and it would be a good business opportunity for a lot of people across the state. My colleague Bill Lord and I went around and we met people from the Middle Atlantic, D.C., Virginia, Maryland, as well as across North Carolina who had been involved in different aspects of maintenance and from that information we put together this short course. Bill Hunt is the Ph.D. professional engineer. I'm an entomologist and horticulturalist, so between us we kind of cover the waterfront between the structural practices and the management of the vegetation and soils, which is the part I cover. So between us, we feel like we give a pretty broad-based approach and we can answer almost any question that comes up. This is a day and a half certification where we teach them, you know, basic hydrology, what happens when it rains on a, a forested land versus an impervious surface, how you get a flash flood and the stream dries out. I've spent a lot of time on pollution removal, simple things, trying to give them a practical approach using uh, components that are available here without spending a lot of money and knowing what actually happens when they maintain these practices to make them work better to protect water quality in the state. My name is Nathan Smith. I'm the Grounds Maintenance Supervisor here at NC State University and our Grounds and Building Services teams take care of the exterior properties of campus. So essentially everything that you would consider curb appeal, our teams are responsible for maintaining. After COVID, our department had to rethink the way that we approach stormwater devices on campus. Our supervisors were given the responsibility in place of the prior specific teams to take over the management of the stormwater devices and assets. This was put in place due to the watershed that we, that we see here, starting from Wolf Village, which is up the road towards Gorman a little bit further. Essentially, this being all parking lot, we were dealing with a lot of runoff and stormwater retention. We were getting a lot of pollutants washing down into Rocky Branch Creek. This device was installed to filter those pollutants and change the runoff that we had occurring here. Going through the certification has actually given us more of a platform to speak to when it comes to redesign and repairing those issues and just gave us a better visual of what to inspect and what to look for as we're doing the service on our properties. Here at the University, North Carolina State's really made a, made a commitment um, through Dr. Hunt's program and what we're doing in ground services here to really address issues from the start. Rather than just reactionary uh, dealing with the issues, um, we're making an attempt to proactively deal with the issues through inspections. A lot of the research that we do is about optimizing practices, making them work better. Even if you have to pay a little bit more to make them work better, the amount of credit you get more than offsets what is associated with the, with the increase in cost. We've got a rapidly increasing population, more impervious surface, more flooding problems, and so there's tremendous demand for this and need for it too.